Hello friends, good morning. Today I am going to cover a very interesting business case where we as a business selling a service on subscription and taking entire payment in advance from the customer and then settling down those payment with regular subscription invoice with Odoo Base. How Odoo Accounting will be handling this particular business very beautifully. Let's see. So what I will do is I have created, uh, you know, one product that is internet subscription that is, you know, uh, meant to be monthly recurring basis and thousand rupees per month is my fees. I am opening one subscription for a new customer. Okay. And then what I will do is I will make my plan on monthly basis and then uh, the last date for the same will be 30th September and my starting date would be 1st of January. So what I will do is I will sell this service with other info and I am setting up my starting date at 1st January until 30th September is my plan to sell this customer why i am keeping this because i need to run entire case with scheduler to show you how exactly odoo will handle this case so what i will do is i will run this subscription confirm this and quotation date is first january and then it is you know marked to renew because this month is the last month and it should be renewed but here what i will do is i will ask my customer to pay entire 10 months amount in advance so what i will do is i will create an invoice and mark as down payment invoice with 100 percent in this invoice what i will do is i will mark my services per month that is 10 months so it will become 10,000 plus taxes okay and then now i will say that the due date was this and then the date of invoice was 1st January supposed to be and I confirm this invoice and I register the payment also from my customer. So this invoice is marked as paid and now what system will do? System will create a monthly recurring invoice based on the cron job. So when I press run manually on this cron job system will automatically generate an invoice over here so I will go back and come again system has generated one invoice which is type reverse invoice with 1000 for one month subscription and then rest 10,000 it will settling it down as a down payment what I will do is it is already uh, you know done in reconciliation uh, you know with reverse invoice I will press again run manually it will create the second invoice for my subscription so when i come back to subscription it will generate a second invoice inside the second invoice it will mark as not paid whereby you know the duration of the uh, service would be like you know i need to change this duration let's say for the second type and that service duration was from 1st february till 29th February I confirm this and then I will set this outstanding credit to make the payment so that my invoice was marked as paid and then I will run another invoice for this when I come back it will generate another invoice for the month which is here 1 3 to 31st and then i will add outstanding credits which will mark as paid and reversed and then go on to create all the invoice for our subscription month on month because these are old invoices you can consider like uh, you know this is how it goes and i add the outstanding credit as the payment so at any point of time, if you want to see the customer balance, you go to the customer and check its partner ledger and see how much was the invoice, how much he has paid and what is his current you know, credit. You can see. And then I go back again into invoice 
and then we'll say this i will do again the run manually and it will go on and create invoices for us on the basis of our subscription plan and then it will say 150 31st 5 and then i will add the things over here i will again create the invoice again create the invoice we'll create two invoices for two months you can see now so first june and july and then i will again settle in doubt my advance payment against this and then the balance will show on and on and then i will end my final invoice that is i think it is it i go back and come again over here it will create my final invoice which is not paid i will go inside and settling down my final invoice over here so one more invoice to go so i press it again so final invoice of ninth month that is currently september month system has generated one invoice so i have total 10 invoice one is the advanced invoice nine one the regular invoice and then i will finally settle down this outstanding and then this one should settle all the amount for my invoice against the customer and then i will check down this is in payment because i have to reconcile and this is all the payment i have received you know against that payment so see how easy it is to maintain entire journey of our customer to settle down all the invoices like this okay so first february first march and so on we can see the invoices for our services so now you can generate the advance invoice and then settle down rest of the regular invoice against the advance invoice payment within Odoo subscription mode. So this is how Odoo is going to handle the entire case. So over here I have run another for services which is showing all the invoices which is the advance invoice and then the rest are the regular invoices. You can see system is generated and reverse it out. So for this customer we can see entire ledger is settling down with zero zero at the end of the service tenure so hope uh, this will help many people to run you know subscription with 100 percent advance payment as uh, down payment and then settling down the regular invoice also against the down payment invoice thank you guys